afraid about how the spirit moves. Right. You know, and so it needs to to go. And you'll, you'll watch as time goes, the spirit will hop on different brothers to bring out certain more precepts, to say certain key things, you know, to, 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 to speak for a moment or whatever. You know, that that's how it works, but we have to be humble to it and, and, and to acknowledge that how it's shot that's in, in, in each in each of us. Okay? That that's what we're really I'm not looking for you. As the man that you that you were born and raised up to be, I'm looking for how it shine you. Because it's easier to see how it shine you versus seeing that you're a good man according to what the standards of the world. But when he's our he's our um our, uh, our example to follow after, you know, and that goes for each and every one of us. That's what we that's what we're attached to to the spirit. The how shine that's in you. You know a certain level of him. You know a certain level of him all the way around. Okay. But how to make you can come through here, it's okay. It's okay. Don't don't get yourself ran over. But um but it's important that we that we're looking for that in each other and we're trying to build that up as a strong foundation. I, I, you know. All right, back in uh Exodus 18 and uh 17 it says, And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt sh uh, surely wear away both thou and this people that is with thee, for this thing is too heavy for thee. Kind. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Kind. Hey, he said what? So you you need to establish order so that it's not such a heavy burden on you to where you withering away, man. Hey, because understanding Jake, hey, y'all know too, man. <laughs> Jake is bugged out. Yeah, man. So Jake was coming with coming to Moses with bugged out shit, man. Bugged out questions. Hey, uh, and so that that weighs on you, man. Mur murmuring. Yeah, murmurings. Talking shit. Disputings. All of those things. Moses had to deal with that. It says, verse 19, it says, Hearken now unto my voice. Yep. I will give thee counsel, and the most I shall be with thee. Be thou for the people to, to Godward, that thou mayest bring the causes unto the most high. Yep. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws, and shall shew them the way wherein they must walk and the work they must they must do. So he established order, man. You know, you have the head, which was Moses at the time. He established probably a second in command, third in command. And much like here, man. And you have a head of a camp, a head of a region. You know, and then what? You have the, the elders, then you have the apostles, man. Hey, you don't hear just a uh, apostle to heart dealing with uh, little matters within every camp, man. If Apostle Tahar is bringing something out, it's, 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 it's crucial for the whole body, man. You know, that's when that's when you'll, you'll hear his voice. Okay, you got something to say, bro? That was, uh, real quick. Um, let me get this in uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Two are better than one. Yeah. Yeah. Because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. Uh -huh. But woe to him that is alone when he but when he felleth, for he have no not another to help him. Kind. To help him up. Yep. Kind. You know, so basically you need you know, you need help. Yeah. You need aid. You need, you know, you need assistance. You can't do this thing by yourself. I'm just gonna say, so beware of those camps that have that one top guy as the head of their camp. We don't have one, even though we know that the head of all a great millstone is, is, is Apostle Tahar, yep. but who's up there with him? It's Apostles, you know? They they look at him as their uh, elder, but but they're still up on the level with him, okay? Uh, uh, the, uh, the ability to, to expound and to send out decrees and certain things, you know, through the Spirit. He, he said, and I, I never forget when he said this, he said, you don't want to be the top guy, but uh, from coming from him, he said, you don't want to be the top guy, you don't want to be that guy. All, Cause back then it was a, a strong uh, desiring to be the head of a camp, just going around through the through, through Great Millstone. He was like, "Nah, you don't want to be that." So when we came, when we first established this camp back with, with, uh, with Vance, we was even saying like, "Nah, we gonna do this by committee." We know we answered, a, you know, at the time Rance was the head, but we was like, "Nah, we gonna do this by committee. We gonna all have input. We believe we're all in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai. So this is how we gonna deal with it." I'm, I'm, you know, we may come up with certain things, we're going to run it through each other, see how it go, cast a lot if necessary, but we're going to operate that way and let the spirit deal. So there's ways to, to do it if everybody's not on the, on the, um, uh, of the, uh, the highest experience levels, you know, because experience comes with time, but, but there's, there's, there's always a, uh, uh, um, what, what am I looking for? 
there's always a, um, a, a way to get the righteousness out of a situation. Sure, man, because to, to be the head, you have to deal with a, a lot of burden, man. Hey, the head of a camp or the, the uh, for example, Buster Tar, you know, he has to deal with everything, man. Hey, because whatever, whatever happens within, within Great Millstone, hey, his name is on it, so to speak, man. Everybody looks at him, you know? So it's a lot of responsi responsibility. The heads have to look over the whole church, you know? The heads have the responsibility of looking over every single man. That's tough, man. That's tough to do. Hey, while you're watching your own spirit, you got something? Yeah. Gotta we got finish this up. Yeah, huh? We're going to grab it. Exodus 18 and 21. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, yep. such as fear the Most High, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers over thousands, yeah. and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens, and let them judge the people at all seasons. Kind, it's like a, all seasons. Yeah, yeah. In, in season and out of season. Yeah, doing it. It's like a army ranks, man, so to speak. You know, you got the what's that? The uh, head of the uh, chief of command. What's that? Uh, the, high priest. Yeah, the high priest. You know, and then under him, you know, you have generals, majors, lieutenants. Oh, you know, also like you talking about the military. Kind, in terms of yeah, military. It's the general. Kind, yeah, it's the general. Yeah. Exodus fifteen and three. The Lord is a man of war. Yeah, yeah. kind. Yeah. Set yeah, up that same way, church. This is a this is a, a, a no, military, an, an army, when, when you, and, and a church. When you was called into this thing, when you heard this word, that was your enlistment. You got enlisted. Yeah. Yeah. Going yeah. back to uh, what yeah, we read crap. earlier, the second second <laughs> Timothy, uh, the second chapter. Right. The Lord have chosen you to be a soldier. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know. So it, it, in in order for you to be a part of that, you gotta. You know, you gotta uh, 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 be disciplined. You gotta be break, broken through spiritual boot camp, man. Yeah. You know, you have to go through a, cause what, a, the scripture said you have to put off your old man. Which means what, you gotta put off the deeds of the, the old nigga that you once was, man. Right. And you have to be reborn through what, the washing of the word, the renewing of your mind. Which means what, a, tending unto the, the spiritual things instead of the, the carnal, man. Yeah. You know, living life to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It says uh, 22, and let them judge the people at all seasons. Yeah. And it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee, but every small matter they shall judge, so that it is easier for thyself, and and they shall bear the burden with thee. Yeah, good. And what I said in Colossians, I think it's top of, around the top of the third chapter, bear ye one another's burdens. Yeah. Galatians. That's Galatians, the Bible. Yeah, I always that one ask it for that. You did in Galatians. He tells you to bear you one another's burdens, man. Don't let a man sit here and get beat down to the point that he may fall out. Hey, man, to help uh, shoulder that burden. If this man's leg is messed up, I ain't gonna make him walk. I'm gonna help, help him get a it's, it's a distribution of uh, power and responsibility. It is. Like I said, I got something to do. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1, I'm gonna read down a few verses. It says, uh, the elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and are a, a partaker of the glory that should be revealed. Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. It's funny because the dynamic of this, uh, when we first heard this, we had to so, uh, 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 subdue ourselves unto the elders that were uh, teaching us, which, which we know those men are. You know, we started with the apostles and the elders out of New York, and the heads of those camps after that first arose. Right? And then now, so the dynamic now is we're almost, I'm not trying to get us on a certain level, I'm just saying for, for edification's sake, that we're uh, a semblance of, of elders to you men that will one day be elders to other people. Okay, so this is how the tree grows. Every 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 tree that will start out as a, as a big uh, branch. It starts off as a twig, it gets certain leaves, you go for example, uh, for the, the facade, yep. you have certain, uh, certain uh, standards in the Pesach where you may have the oldest man have to come up and do something or the youngest man may have to come up and do something and we're understanding that the truth is about growth you'll have every man in that position to at be able point. to do that that's right at you know? some point you'll be the youngest man at, at some, some point, point you'll, you'll be, be the oldest, oldest man. Right. so right. you have to have all of those levels uh, of understanding okay. though you may be a listener uh, uh, now one day you'll be a teacher okay 
It says, um, Feed the flock of Yahweh, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, for there, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. How do you get your mind ready? Study to show you how I self approved and remain humble about uh, the, the what's funny is that the, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. Yeah. The, 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 the higher up you are, like like this brother's a servant unto us. He has to make sure that, that he's given us uh, what we need to move uh, uh, to grow in the spirit. And so that's what we're, we're gaining from him, and we're gonna give it to you guys, and then you guys will one day pass it to, to those that, that follow after you. You know, but but they're really following after you. How about some shot? I have that word uh, ready mind. Uh huh. Um, and it's First Peter five and two, G forty two ninety, and it says uh, willingly uh, with al alacrity. I gotta look that word up. So that, it says um, eagerness, risk or cheerfulness, readiness. Yeah. Hey, we should be rejoicing and excited about this word of Yahweh by some It should be like, oh, here we go. My knees is gonna be hurting again. That's not the spirit we're to be in. Uh, here was, I gotta go out there and deal with these demons. We used to come out every week, man. And we understood that uh, when we were on the strip still, just me and this brother here. When we were out there, we knew once the camera, once the light came on and it was under the, uh, the, uh, the park, the, uh, what's the sign, the big sign, the big Valley sign for, the, for, for Valley. Valley sign, once yeah. that light came on and the camera cut, it's demon season. It's open season on us. Like they would come up and, and literally damn near surround us. And we have nobody to, to, to share that with. But but who was there? You know? But 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 here we still are. So we endured and made our foreheads and all of that stuff. That's not gonna um that, that shouldn't detract you from the love of your by me outside. Like Paul said, it shouldn't be um what could what could uh what did it say? Uh, no. Separate us. What can separate us from the house from the love? Then who shall separate us? And people try. Shout tribulation. Angles. A big, a big, a grab it, grab it. persecution. Grab it. Because it's important that you guys know that nothing is supposed to push you off of this. Okay? The most high ain't gonna, gonna have how you uh, go fist the cuffs to, to the death, you know, with a man. Just to show you how, how, how much of a ready mind that Apostle Paul had. Yep. Even when he would, uh, you know, Satan would try to hinder him. And if he couldn't make it to a particular, a, a, a specific uh, location, yep. he would just write an epistle and, and, and send it. Yep. Make sure you get the word anyway. Yeah. Because yep. he, he was he was eager to, to teach. Yep. You know, apt to teach. He was apt to teach, man. You know, he was he was enforcing order in the churches. Yeah. He he didn't let nothing stop him, man. God, God. This man, hey. You, you, when you read, uh, was that Second Corinthians eleven chapter? Yep. He taught, he, he, he brought out all his perils that he had yeah, to yeah. endure while in the ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so I devoted mean, to teaching. This is the only man that can say how many of you could, uh, how many, how many, uh, 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 how many of you would yeah. have been put to death for this work? <laughs> all of Paul, 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 yeah, could, he, when he came back after yeah. they stoned him to death, yeah. he, he, he was, he could say that. Yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul literally died. You know? Yeah. Yeah. He came yeah. back. And he came back because he had to he had to, uh, to finish the mission. Right. So that's how serious this is, man. We come out here every week because hey, we fear the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah. And this is our task. This is a duty that, that must be done. Yeah. Because hey, we're we're really we're in debt to Yahweh Shah. Right. That blood that, that, that was sacrificed, it was it was so precious, man. You know? We 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 owe the Lord. That's right. All right. Back. You want that right now? Yes, bring that right. This is uh, Romans eight and thirty-five. Oh, God. Yep, thirty-five, and it reads, "Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh? Shall shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution?" You're gonna go through all these things, man. This is this is the the the. Um the the, the, uh, the the temptation that'll come upon you when you when you come to serve the Lord from from Sirach the second chapter. Go ahead. Shall famine uh, or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril <laughs> or sword? Man, as it is written. Hey, that brothers have had guns put on them, knives put on them. Yeah. Okay. And where are they still at? And they still out teaching. Still preaching. There, there's men that I'm not gonna even get it. Well, well see, they said they hey don't come back next week. I'm gonna blast you. Remember yeah, they said yeah, that to yeah. <laughs> you come back next week, man. I'm a, okay. See you next week. You know. 
it happened with us one yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, it was tough. <laughs> we, we was, hey, when it was just a small cap, it was tough, man. But it was beautiful because the, the Lord kept us strong and kept us going out. It wasn't, it wasn't a question, we gonna go out there. It wasn't, that never came yeah. up. We didn't even talk about it. We, we just wait was, at the, back out. We was just out. at the camp spot in the parking lot. Are you ready? All right, let's go. We was like, hey, if, 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 the, if the demon showed back up, then yeah. hey, we, it, it is what it is. Yeah. But you know that's this is part of the condition of, of the battle, man. Yep. Yeah. We still here fighting. This nigga could be dead. Yeah. It, it wasn't just one. We had the big six foot uh, what we Philistine ass nigga. That nigga was like seven feet. Man, this dude was huge. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and I, like, and then, oh, that is that page still up or did it get taken down? About Our first, yeah, about the it's first. Still up. Okay. It's still up. Yeah, it's still up. I don't think that video is still still up, but I don't know. Yeah, that was the first first. Yeah, that was, that's what we was over on Google. Yeah, you got it. Continuing, this is uh, 36. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. Uh-huh. We, we are take L's all day in this thing. But that's L's, I mean, L's according to the world. Yeah, it's W's. We, we get W's through the, the spirit, spirit right. all the time. Learning the new word and the new, you know what it. I didn't know that that word was in the Greek. Oh, what does that mean? That's a that's a W. You know, whenever you learn something spiritually or or, 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 or come on to some new information, a new article, a new prophecy come. Those are W's, man. You know, we have to look at them and stuff. That increase in, uh, in faith and uh, in works. Yeah, that's a yep. W through the spirit too, man. Hey, because yep. what? Hey, though though every man has a set number of talents given to the beginning. Hey, that doesn't mean that your potential doesn't rise in the truth, man. Hey, you can always ask your Yahweh Shema Al Shai for more faith, for more understanding. Hey, for for a week. Hey, that those are the spiritual gifts that you should be desiring, man. Yeah. You know. So what? Hey, you can always increase in the faith, man. Just don't be stagnant to where the Lord takes away that talent, man. Right. Like you the know? men in um, Acts that rejoice for getting whooped, yeah. for getting their head whooped for uh, Yahweh Shai. The name of Yahweh Shai. That was a W for them. Yeah, you know? they counted it all. What is what they said? They counted, counted it all. Joy, 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 joy. Yeah. And yeah. went right back out teaching in the name. God. And yeah. in, in this world, that would be that would seem to something that, that, that discouraged you to. Yeah. Man, I don't know, man. He, he, you know, the police really wore my ass out. Yeah. You know, I, I just got out the hospital. The niggas in the hood said, "Don't come back, man. <laughs> they gonna they gonna air it out, or air the corner out." Well. What do you do? I and mean, sometimes, but but wisdom will let you know. You know what? We ain't really getting no food. Nobody listen. We gonna take it to another block. Yeah. Like well, like I don't know if y'all seen that situation that popped off with uh with the ISUPK at I U uh, at IUIC. I well, uh, somebody I don't even know who was there first, but somebody I think it was I IUIC had it first for, for watching the video. They had a, a, a camp spot first, and then some guys from uh, ISUPK came across the street. Now, when they went to go approach them, like, hey, what's up, what y'all doing? They took 15 guys with them, yeah, and, they, and they felt it like an act of war. So they, they start going back and forth, but that's not what we're out here to do. If they want to teach their thing, go ahead and teach it. Now, if you want to take this spot, we ain't going to fight you over the spot. Take it. I hope you get fruit there, you know? And I hope your fruit is sincere, and your how about you on shot. We're going to find another spot, because it don't matter where we plant this seed of righteousness, the Howard Shah is gonna water it and make it grow. Hey, yeah. On top of that, <laughs> they ain't wanna take this bite. Nah, you know, <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be too hot for their yeah, ass, man. Yeah, here. Hey, cause Jake don't come in in season and out of season. Cause that's yep. another thing that the apostles were speaking on, man. Yep. Apostle Har, I believe he said it um two camps ago. He said, hey man, where it's warm now. The camps are starting to come back out. Yep. That's why you had that um that argument between the IUIC and the ISUPK, man. Because right. neither one of their asses was diligent enough to be at that spot all uh, all that winter, man. Yep. You know? And people and people move just like that. But just in case there's somebody that may hear you in the wintertime but come out in the spring or the summertime, you still need to be there. They, you brothers are starting to learn that this is where we're at every week at this time. So you know where to come and get, get fed. It's funny, the brother uh, Damao in LA camp uh, made, made a good point uh, a couple years back. He uh, he would be there, he'd come in and he would be uh, eating uh, sunflower seeds and feeding the pigeons, the birds that would come. He said, even the birds know to come and eat here every week. And they would literally show up every week, about 10 of them, and they'd come right under where they was part, uh, where they was camping at, and they'd come and eat the seeds. He's like, but, but you niggas don't come consistently. I'm not talking about y'all, you're talking about them. You know, people come by for 10 minutes and they leave and they never come back or whatever. He said, but you can't even tell that this is the place that you get fed at. And you get something, a gym, just coming by and listening for a few minutes. You know? 
but but when that time hits, is what it say, they shall be willing in the day of thy power. Yep. You got it, bro. So they're gonna show up at some point. It's 36, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. Uh-huh. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yep. Yeah, that, that's the point. Let me, let me jump back like to this. I gotta read this more? It right says, now. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors yep. through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor mm -hmm. things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us. It's okay to come through. From the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai, our Lord, man. Yeah, nothing will be able to separate us from Yahweh by Shai. Plus, if, if you are uh, put in, in his hand, you can't be plucked out anyway. Regardless what well, what someone may try to do to you. But your spirit shouldn't be like, uh, I'm not sure. You gotta, you gotta be uh, hot or cold to it. Don't be in the middle like, I like it, but I'm just not ready or I gotta still get right. Then come out, that's how you get right, come out. Come present yourself, clean yourself up, of course. Come out, when I say clean yourself up, I mean like, let your beard grow out a little bit if you can and so on and so forth, if, if you can. You wanna make a point? I got a Okay, Kyle, Kyle, here you go. You finished? Yeah, that was it. Okay. This basically goes into how you were saying we take L's, yeah. and then we take W's. So this is uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. Read a little louder. 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, uh -huh. yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Beautiful. So every morning when you wake up, you realize I we pray to you how about Shemel Shai because I got another day to fight that I may that I may win. Yeah. I have another chance to earn my salvation. You know? I have another chance to learn something. I have another chance, you know, yeah. th then that's what we're hoping for, to, to turn this thing around from, from the man I used to be, that old man, to, to clearing out all of that leaven and all of that, that that uh, ill spirit that was once in me, to moving on to, to becoming a righteous man of the most high. Gun, and like you said too. It says the outward man perish, man. Meaning what? Your flesh. You know what? So hey, you may catch infirmities. You can have uh, be going through hell. You may have to be taking uh, certain medications or whatever. You know. But it says what? The inward man, the spiritual man, is being built up, man. Right. So you're getting stronger eternally, man. You know, to be able to withstand the things you're going through in your flesh. Was that the apostle? Uh, I think it was Apostle Bar that said it a while back. It was one of them. He's like, when you work out, what do you do? You you tear the muscle down. Yeah. And what does that do? It builds it back stronger. That's right. So that so that so the world is gonna tear you down, but it's gonna make your spiritual man even more stronger. Okay. Cause right. uh, Romans the fifth chapter says, uh, 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 we glory in, in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, patience, patience worketh uh, experience. experience, and experience uh, hope. That you won't be ashamed of y'all about some y'all yeah, When you tear down the muscle, you lift the weight, you, the muscle tears. So you gotta eat, you gotta eat food, yep. you know, or take protein. supplements, you know, uh, uh, amino acids, protein to build that muscle stronger, uh, build it uh, uh, bigger and bigger. And, and this, and this uh, word is food, man. Yeah. But, you know, also when you tear the muscle, like the brother said, your proteins, your amino acids, the, what they do is help repair the muscle. So you won't be. So your downtime won't be so long. Yeah, re better recovery time. Recovery time. Yeah, and in that process, the muscle gets bigger. Yeah. So, which means it's got stronger. And this word represents food. Right. I got a quick one. I want to bounce. I'll bounce back to it. Um, this is a. This is a Second Timothy two, and I'm starting at the top. It says, though, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses the same committed thou fa to faithful men uh -huh. yep. who shall be able to teach others also and that's, that's beautiful because we read that earlier and that's the spirit that is coming back out so that the spirit wants that to be reiterated you know so so that's what we're out here to do to make sure that you men are built up with a strong foundation that you may grow thereby to the point that you will be able to teach other men also we're not here to say oh, look at the big camp we got you guys, when the time comes, we won't be able to gather like, like we do. You guys won't be able to come out and gather with us either. You'll be stuck in your in your corner of town because we know martial law and uh, what's that called? Uh, when when uh, Basically, you won't be able to move around the city like that. So wherever region Curfew. you're in, huh, curfews, curfews and so on, right? So you won't be able to move around the city the same way. You're going to have to stay in that area and, and put that word out. 
okay? Yeah. Am amongst whatever you got uh, around where you at, you're going to have to do it that way. Lord willing, there's a brother or so with, or two with you to be able to do that with, you know, if, the, if that be the Lord's will. Good. And like, like the scriptures say, um, we, we've entered into the apostles' labor. Yep. And other men will enter into our labor. And other men will enter into your labor. So that's what, that's, uh, okay, that, that's what it means. You teach other people. This is verse 3. It says, Therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Uh -huh. And that's the point. The word endure means to make harder. You harden in something. Like uh, uh, MMA fighters, martial artists, they, they do what is called body hardening. Yep. They harden their knuckles, they harden their elbows, their knees. So to the point where it hurts to, 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 to get to a point. But when it gets to that point where it's hardened, where it don't hurt you no more, but it causes lots of damage or whatever is hit. So that's what the, the scriptures do do with us. We, right. we, the Most High afflict us to make us harder so that we can endure. Hey. It really lets you know what the, what that body hardening is actually doing. You're, you're um, fracturing the uh, the bone a little micro bit. Fractures. Micro fracturing it, right? Yep. So eventually it's going to continue to to callus uh, yeah, to calcium uh, yeah. uh, calcify the water. It's going to continue to calcify get harder and stronger and stronger and even a little bit thicker the same thing it's like yeah, yeah. same thing what he's saying too hey to wield the sword man you get cut first yeah oh yeah. you know you get broken down through the spirit hey, of all your wrong ways before you actually able to wield the sword man that's right and then also with body hardened it uh it makes you immune to pain so whenever you hit something you don't feel the pain but it inflicts pain Right. And that's what happens. We, we, we all had to endure, okay, endure well, to the point where the Most High has us built up to where we could go out and then we could basically, like the brother said, wield the sword. Jump well, back which in. We which we're going to need that endurance to stay stable when these plays come, man. Yep. Right. You because know, everybody's going to be losing their fucking mind. You know, you got men in the Lord, they're they going to be in their right mind. Right. And they're going to be bugging out like the rest of these people. Yeah. Right. Back in 2 Corinthians. Uh, 4 and 16 this is for for which cause we faint not though our outward man perish yet the inward man is renewed day by day for our light afflictions which is but for a moment worketh for us a far exceeding and eternal weight of glory as we said earlier uh, for the for the I, I would say that the sufferings of Yahweh for Yahweh side now are not to be compared with the glory that should be revealed in us Okay, you got it. You read, you read Romans 8, right? Yeah, that's what I was quoting right now. Verse 18. This is why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Yeah, temporary versus everlasting. Okay, we're working for the everlasting, yeah, the immortality, the immortality version of, uh, of this. While the rest of the people, they're just working toward condemnation and temporal things, things that are, that are uh, that are gonna fade away. Probably before the missiles even come, is gonna fade away. Okay, Mon this money that, that most of Jake is selling their soul and all this other stuff for right now is gonna gonna collapse. Okay, oh, so, shit. it's gonna collapse. Okay. But, but 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 what are we but what are we working for? We're working for 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 uh, for the kingdom of heaven where it dwells righteousness. Okay, so let me so let me go back. Do you have more? That was different. Uh, go ahead if you got something. What you got? Uh, Philippians four. Go ahead. Philippians four and ten. It says, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me had flourished again. Wherein ye were also careful, but ye lack opportunity. Uh -huh. Not that I speak in respect of want. It's okay. You, 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 you go through. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to be abound. Yeah. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Yahweh Shai, which strengthened me. And that's the point. The point is, it's not about, you know, we, I just read uh, the, the outward man perish, but the inward man is renewed day by day. You're gonna have ups and downs. You're gonna have times in this truth where you, uh, you know, you're suffering. You need things, you don't have them. 
they'll come. That's that that's just a test in the build of your faith. Once your faith has gotten to a certain height, you no longer worry about things that ain't that you don't have. That's why Paul said he, he knows how to be. I know how to handle myself when I am in need and I don't have. I know how to conduct myself when I got what I need and I don't I'm not wanted for nothing. He has a balance, it's a perfect balance to that, but he knows. No matter what he have or don't have, he can do all things as long as he on the right side with Yahweh by Shimei Oshak. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. You got more though? No, nah, that's, that's it on that. You got something to go with that? Alright, so. Look here. Yeah. Alright, Hebrews. Yeah. It's like you. Yeah. Hebrews 2, verse 9. And it's dealing with Yahweh Shai. It says, But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of the Mosiah should taste death for every man, for it became of him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Yeah. Hey, because, you know what I'm saying, a friend cannot be known in prosperity. Uh, you can't know if, if, if uh, and it says in the opposite, what was that, in the apocryphal, in the yeah, chapter? Yeah. It said a friend can't somebody grab it, Bobby Sean. It said a friend can't be known in that verse. I think it's uh Sarai so six. It's the sixth chapter. Okay, okay. I'll talk about the, the, the other prosperity and all that was in yeah, the eleventh yeah. chapter. Come, come. See that? See how that brother knew that? Yeah, <laughs> if I had a sword and somebody needed to hear that right now, I gotta I gotta take responsibility to learn that one, to know it. Within my spirit, where that's at. You might not have your smartphone, and that's hey, it. we're so, not gonna have smartphones yeah. forever. But while we got them, like I tell my kids, hey, Google, I use Google. It. You got it already? A read it. Got it. Where we gotta read it left? Yeah. Um, this is a uh, Sirach uh, six, and we we'll start at seven. It says, "If thou was to get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him." For some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy tr like trouble. Yeah, that ain't really concerned about you or your well-being. This is the, hey, as much as we can go, uh, the, the, uh, the, the world and the internet says that we are hate speakers, or speakers or whatever, and we, we, we push out all this hate and we're just evil and whatever else they, they slander us with. We're really pushing out the most sincere love that you can ever uh, obtain on, on the earth right now. Yeah. As men of the Lord. Hey, well, to the wicked, you know, it will seem like hate. You know? Hey, because what they're pushing out is really hate, man. So anything at first to, hey, the way they're pushing it is going to seem bad. For example, you know, Jake, you know, probably hit the lottery or some man took some money or something. Yep. You know, you got all the fucking cousins, third cousins, yeah. and, you know, calling them asking for money. You know, but when he was down and out, he was by himself. Nobody wouldn't help him. Yeah. You know, yeah, I was shy uh, when he was, uh, when he was uh, feeding the uh, people, you know, he said, you people ain't coming to me to hear the word. You coming, yeah. coming to me uh, getting the free meal, man. Yeah. You know? So you got to watch out for Jake, man. Yeah, yeah. And, you know? and that's how our people are. They'll come to, hey, the apostles told us about the history of how it went down at the old school. The old school, people would show up. He said there was never a, a class as full as a pastor the class. Passover class was always the biggest class. Everybody came in their own front and center for the Passover class. So they're going to get their name on the list to come next week and eat the lamb dinner. But it ain't about the lamb dinner. Okay? It's more so about uh, the spiritual food that we eat. More, more than, than just uh, the, the ceremony itself. Okay? That, that's actually more valuable to you. The words of that class versus the actual meal that came later on. Oh, uh, that was it. There's more on that. Yeah, no, that's the uh, that we can have certain points. I don't know what I'm
A friend cannot be known in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Exactly. That, that was the point right there, Tawak. The because that, that's the point. You, you won't know how much a, a person is truly sincere for you until they're, they're out there going to battle with you. Hey, I know right now there's certain men, there's at least five other men that I can call six, I forgot the brother here, six or seven brothers that I know for a fact if I call right now because I got a flat tire, they're going to show up no matter what time I call. And I like to make my winner through the spirit be able to do that for them. <coughs> because I've proven these men, but you can call a cousin in the same jeopardy or, or a friend from the world in the same jeopardy and you may not ask, he may uh, forward you the voicemail. Hey, that's why y'all was trying to say, who are my mother and who are my brethren? <laughs> Yep. Those that do the will of uh, him that sent me, man. Yep. Hey, cause you're a hey, blood, a hey, being blood related don't mean shit, man. Hey, then, a lot of times them the worst niggas, man. Yep. Yeah, I know brothers everywhere could attest for that. Yep, the family said, let me get yeah. the next, the next verse. It says, uh, it says, in the prosperity of a man's enemies will be greed. Yep. But in his adversity, even a friend will depart. That's a hater, man. Hater, uh, when when you down and out. Want to talk to you, but when you're doing good, he's all. Yeah. Yeah. What's the song Jake said? Uh, back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot. They all on me. It's the same yeah. thing, man. Yeah, same thing. You know, and then we, but but know what though? We're not gonna look at people that come in uh, when they see the power come. We ain't gonna look at them funny. We just gonna test them to see if they uh, uh, sincere, sincere and, and let the chips fall where they may. I'm already uh, trying to build myself up to just be merciful. To, to whomever comes in the right spirit. Yep. And but the most high will will, 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 will uh, separate who's really for this thing and who's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more carry out that, that was it. Right? That was it on that, but I'm saying man, the six chapters like this brother Carl, it, it goes into <laughs> breaking it down. Probably want to be read, read it. Cut, cut. I'm gonna just I'm gonna bounce around a little bit. I'm gonna start at the top. The six uh Ciroc six and one. Instead of a friend, become not an enemy. For thereby thou shalt inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that had a double tongue. I'm going to jump down to, uh, to verse 5. A sweet language will multiply friends, and a fair speaking tongue will increase, increase kind greetings. So when you go to when you go to these other camps, what do you get? They got they got hip hop communities inside the Israelite community. They got that. They got all these other um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, gimmicks. Uh, uh, gimmicks. gimmicks. Water. They got all these other gimmicks for you to come into. But when it comes down to whether you gonna suffer and not take that mark, who's the suit to say? Because you've been feeding them not with hard, but you've been feeding them with comfort. So with lip service. So when that comfort is taken away, that lip service is taken away, are they built up to stand on their own? Are they going to be able to endure? Are they going to have the right mind? No, because they try to put their words together. They're too busy trying to go to the, to the next beast, the next beast, uh, big uh, Passover feast. They, they, they're, they're just trying to go to the, to the um, Israelite Grammy Awards and shit like that. Okay? When their mind should be on getting in that chariot. And what's going to get you in that chariot? Understanding this word and, and, and feeding the sheep and the lambs, man. Okay? Edifying. Being, being a good brother. You have more, right? You go back. I want to uh, land back on what this brother said. These other Israelite uh, groups, they're, they're not about grooming and building each individual man to be a leader. They're about, okay, we're, we're all one unit. But you're as a unit only as strong as the weakest man in that unit. You got to build and try to try to build each man up. That's why when we first, you know, years ago, the apostles would give us homework. They would they would, they, would, they would test us. They would give us certain tests. They would uh, encourage brothers to, okay, if you hold signs, you know, are you hold posts, your goal is to grow until you be holding signs. Because through the spirit, you can see where, where where camp is going, where you can bring out the right signs to reading, to speaking, you know, and, and, and growing. That's why you see men. If you look back years ago. They were at one point, and you look at them now, they're not at that point anymore. Right. They've grown. But if you look at other camps, and we can tell, let's take IUIC for example, the guys who are in t-shirts and fringes, years later are in t-shirts and fringes. Yeah. They weren't. They haven't graduated to getting an actual garment where they can actually get a hand, a mic in their hand where they can speak and they can uh, run camp. 
they just standing and holding posts, and that's what they've been doing for years in and year out. You don't see a growth within them. You don't see them flipping them talents. Exactly. They're not exactly they're not multiplying the talents. Because the talents that they are given is not being tested, it's not being proven, so that you show that they grow. But here at Great Millstone, the apostles, they require that. Yeah. They require you to, to, to not be, this is lively, this is flowing water, not stagnated water. Yep. That you may grow thereby. That you may grow thereby. I got that precept. I got that precept. Go ahead. This is a Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, yep. so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Jump up the fire right quick. Verse 5. Oh, let me see what's in 4. Uh, yeah, 5. Verse 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Gun. Hey, because it's, it's a brotherly duty. Hey, to watch over every uh, uh, the men in your in your army, man. The men in your uh, what you call it, the rank, so to speak, man. That's why the scripture said, "Iron sharpeneth iron, man." Hey, cause even though every brother is working out their salvation, their own salvation with fear and trembling, each brother up here has a specialty, so called in the spirit. You know, something that's special into their spirit that they are more in depth with than uh, other brothers. That's, you know, First um, Corinthians twelve. Con, it's also in uh, Romans, uh, the twelfth chapter two, going into the different offices. You know, yeah. yeah. Con. Quick Um, Proverbs twenty-seven and twenty-three. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, yeah, and look well to thy herds. That's it. Hey, Con, because yeah, we're, because we're, we're, we're all shepherds as well, man. Hey, tending to the flock, for example. Hey, uh, when Saul came to King David, what was he doing? Uh, yeah. You know, for you, for you brothers that's on the outside. No, no, Samuel. Any, yeah, uh, Samuel, 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 Con, yeah. Samuel, it's like it. When Samuel came uh, unto David, what was he doing? Does any brother know? Okay, let's yes, if, if you don't know. To the flock. Exactly, kind, bro. He was tending to the flock. Hey, so that, that was a, a spiritual connotation to what King David would be doing later yep. hey, when he became king, man. Right. You know? So it's the same with us. We have to tend to the flock. Make sure that ain't hey, nobody, no uh, stragglers. Make sure that no every uh, everybody is walking in that path. Making sure that everybody is getting fed. We're all doing that job for one another, man. You know? And the thing about uh, being, being like a sheep herder, or attending to the flock, you learn to care for each individual God. flock. God. That's what David was doing. You can't just, you, you can't speak or deal, like you can't lead the herd or, or the whole individually. You have to lead as a group, but you have to pay attention to whoever is not being a part of the group. God. So for one fear off, like the scripture say, yep. you go after that 99. Go ahead, you get that one. That's the spirit. Exactly. God. Because the 99 is in order. Yeah. They don't need they, 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 they don't need the guidance or instruction to get back in order. You're supposed to see about that man. And that's and uh and and, and, and when the scriptures say that King David was a man after the most high's own heart, that doesn't just mean that he was a man of war, because the most high is a man of war. Because the most high has every single feeling that there is. Anything that we feel, he feels. Because we get it from him. So he's loving, he's kind, he's uh, long suffering, he's merciful. So these are the, the, the characteristics that David had. And he showed it. He showed it by not even laying hands on Saul, even though he knew Saul was wicked. Right. He said, t t you, you, he put fear to touch not the Most High's anointed, even though he wasn't still anointed by the Most High. And he could have touched Talker, he took he, his garment. Exactly. He cut, his, cut his garment. Exactly. Con, you, hey, you have more? I, I was going to say a precept, but it's like, go ahead. Just bring no, go, 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 go ahead. Con, because what the, the scriptures say with, um, uh, those that are uh, sick, I mean, those that are healed needeth not a physician. Because right. right. you were going into what the, the one versus the ninety nine. Right. The one is the one that needs uh, that needs that physician, that healing. Yeah. Hey, because we're all we were all sick, man. But through the word, hey, that healing began to start, man. You know, it's like, that, that prodigal son uh, 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 parable is, is vital. Okay, you, you, you will uh, the Most High rejoice when a man comes back to the faith. Right. You know, verse versus when he falls off, he said, "Son, you've been with me. You've been good the whole time." But but he he, I thought my son was dead, and he's back to life. Hey, we're gonna throw a feast for him. You yeah, know, the law was made for the righteous. I mean, uh, yeah, for the for the for the, for the it wasn't, made, it wasn't made for the righteous. Yeah, it's not, I mean, yeah, I it's, uh, yeah. It's um, you was reading, right? Yeah, we keep reading that in uh in uh, uh, uh five and six. 
Yeah, back in uh, Proverbs 27 and open verse 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Uh -huh. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. So you don't want to be well, people speaking, uh, it says, woe to them when, when men speak well of you. Okay? You don't want people having a, a, a high regard. You want people to be on edge with you. But, they, but you want them to know that, that you shoot straight. I'll shoot straight with you. If you're doing good, good job. If you don't, hey, I gotta talk to you. You know? That, that's how this really, that's how it's supposed to be. And, and, and that, that type of fear that's extended from the top on down, like when I get back into the uh, uh, first Peter the fifth chapter, it's gonna say, for, for the elders watch for men's souls. We're not out here just to, uh, to be mean to certain brothers, to, to, to just use brothers as a punching bag because we've been having a bad day or whatever, week or whatever. No, it's, it's to, that this man may be uh, sound according to the doctrine that he may move as, as a servant of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. Keep going. It's like a little bit more. Verse, six, uh, verse 7. The full soul lo loatheth and honeycomb. Uh -huh. But the full soul loveth things that are sweet because I'm full. I don't need it. I, I have everything I want. Go ahead. But to the hungry soul, every bitter thing is sweet but when you but when you ain't got it hey that 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 bitter thing is, is, is delicious man everything is good so even the hard parts of this ministry is going to be sweet unto us that's what these other camps don't really have and i'm not trying to turn you from the other camps or what whatever but but you men are a great millstone for a reason because we have a full balanced palette out here Okay, we're gonna tell you all the good things and we're gonna tell you all the bad things. We're gonna tell you to, to, that you need to be prepared for uh, Jacob's trouble. We're gonna tell you that, that the Esau's gonna roll on us and try to take us up and try to torture us and all kinds of shit for what we know about Yahweh by Shemel We ain't gonna act like that's not gonna happen. We ain't gonna act like the two thirds ain't gonna, uh, gonna turn on us like they turned on Yahweh Shah. You, you, you must be well instructed in those things, Barack Obama. We're going we gonna to share this whole book with you. The water. The lamentation, mourning, and the woe. Okay? Not only just the good things of the kingdom of heaven, and we can, the white man, the devil, we can cuss him out. And there's going to be a lot more to it than that. And you're going to, as, as it's digest, as the scriptures say, it's going to be sweet in that mouth, but in your belly, once you get the understanding, it's going to become bitter. But that bitter, uh, uh, you, you said something, uh, well, I think we were in Florida, uh, you rock. About uh, about bitter. The so bitter is better for digestion, or is is good for you? I think you said something about that. Yeah, we were going in the whole apple cider vinegar and stuff. Right, right, right. right. So that bitterness, uh, you need those certain like uh, probiotics. Yep. You know, you, you have good good bacteria and bad yep. bacteria. Right. You know, so just because you see something, you know, at first sight, you may think think of it in a negative connotation. But you know, if you actually look further into it, it's like, oh, this is actually for your, your Benefit. Beneficial. Just like a surgery, you know? Like you might have a surgery where they gotta cut you open to extract a bullet or something, you gotta cut open cancer. a little bit. A, a cancer. So not every cut is something uh, for your destruction. A lot of times you get cut so that you can uh, be repaired. 